Freaking.com Ridley here. Well, that guy's not Ridley. I'm Ridley, behind the camera. Uh, reporting in from Keene State College, actually, in New Hampshire. And, well, the first thing that kind of caught my eye here, I was, I was here for an event. It was uh, all these, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever kind of message they're sending the students as to what they can be when they grow up or whatever. And it seems like from this part of the row at least all they seem to want him to do is to grow up to be more educrats and government people however having said that i will say that i've uh, asked three questions of of uh college workers you know information people and so forth and they've all been very helpful and given me the information i needed despite my camera and audio taping sign Now I'm here for a thing called the, I think it's called the City Slash College Commission, or maybe it's the College Slash City Commission, I'm not sure which, but it is sort of a joint affair apparently between the City of Keene and Keene State College. I believe that it will provide me an opportunity to, to ask some questions that have been burning in my bosom for a few years now with regard to their respect or lack of respect uh, for First Amendment and Second Amendment rights here at Keene State College. And I really shouldn't use the term First Amendment and Second Amendment. We don't need the federal government or its constitution to affirm those rights for us. But apparently we do need to raise questions about those rights at Keene State College because they haven't really been respecting them. So as I'm about to go in, it turns out there are a couple students here uh, doing their thing for Young Americans for Liberty, which is sort of Ron Paul's spin-off group. Would that be the right way to put it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Actually, uh... This group was created after Ron Paul's campaign. Okay. Yeah. Um, and oh, you know, you're recording. Sorry. Sure. Yeah. A question. I, I had heard that there was um, some sort of restrictions on students handing out flyers. Not you guys, but just people without a table in other parts of the campus. Is that still restricted, or? Um, as far as those uh, Keen rules go, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I know that UNH right now is having some policy issues. Um, uh, part of their policy is that you're not allowed to table without a warrant from the police. Um, so that's uh, something another group over there is trying to change around. But um, as, as far as policies here, I'm not too familiar if there's any unconstitutional are, are you Are you familiar with any? We're not sure, actually. We're just getting our, uh, our chapter here started up. Do, do, you go, do you go to school here? Yes, okay. student organization. So you haven't run into any issues with, with people like dem dem stopping flyering? Not yet, no. Okay. It took a long time to get back to us on uh, whether or not we could have a table today, but we ended up, we're out here. They so never, you had to ask permission? They never denied us. Yeah, we did need to ask permission. We did you sign up for it. So, so, but if you were to hand out flyers, you don't know what would happen. If you were just handing out flyers, that's uncharted territory? There are other public schools, like University of New Hampshire, um, that are restricting that ability. So here, okay. potentially, we could run into an issue like that. All right. Yeah, I've heard that that a guy was banned from the from the campus for handing out oh, flyers. Wow, yeah. uh, but that was about six years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, that, I'm gonna look into that. And I mean, with uh, with these constitutions, I mean, it says right there that your First Amendment is your warrant to be able to uh, tell people, like, I have my right to be on public property and not have to be told I can't. Yeah. Or, I'm not legally bound to say that I can't. Um, I know that Young Americans for Liberty on the national scale just sued uh, Berkeley uh, for arresting a kid pocket and a pocket constitution just as we are now. Okay. And what's your name? My name is John. And uh, you go to school here or at UNH? I'm, I'm the New Hampshire State Chair for Okay. UIL. All right. And yours? My name is Chris Howell, from student here. All right, Chris. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, giving me some information. And Absolutely. I'm yeah. going to move on forward over to this. Meeting, Perfect. but just uh, check RidleyReport.com and don't be in a rush because it'll be a couple of weeks at least probably before, sure. before it awesome. airs. Sure. Just Ridley glor Report. glorified YouTube channel. Yeah, RidleyReport.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. That. Thanks, guys. Freaking, freaking, <laughs> nah. Dot com isn't freaking. Dot com. Do I even need to tell you what it's about if I'm singing such an awesome song?